connect these screws right here. Use an eight millimeter socket. up this warm clamp right here. You can use the same eight millimeter socket or a straight blade screwdriver. And slide this off. You should be able to lift this up. Just pop this out. Get it out of your way. Disconnect this connector. Push down on the tab. Use a screwdriver or a pick. Just push down on the tab. We'll pull the connector apart. There we go. And slide this off. I'm just going to move this piece out of the way. Use a seven millimeter socket. Loosen up on this clamp right here. Slide that off. Take the coolant cap off the reservoir and set it aside. Find the drain on the radiator. There's one right here and just twist it. Make sure you put a drain bucket underneath. Just drain the coolant out. You can close that up if you want. Now we're going to take this hose off right here. You may have a clamp. You might have to use a hose clamp remover tool or hose clamp pliers. And then this one, I'm just going to use a straight blade screwdriver because it has a warm clamp. Loosen this up. Again, when you pull this off, you want to move the bucket underneath here. Just pull this hose off. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath here. You're going to have a good amount of fluid coming out. Now I'm going to remove the transmission cooler hoses. There's just hose clamps on these, warm clamps. Um, normally you'll probably have a hose clamp. Again, just use hose clamp pliers. And have a different drain bucket underneath to catch the fluid. And slide that off. And do the same on this one. You're probably not going to have a whole lot of fluid come out. So just keep in mind how much if you have to add more after you're done. Take this hose off here. I'm just going to use a straight blade screwdriver. Loosen up the worm clamp. Slide it off. Just twist it back and forth. No fluid should really come out of there. Just slide that out of the way. And take this hose off that goes to the reservoir. Twist it back and forth. If you have to, you can pry it off. Slide that out of the way. Take this cover off. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen up the push pins. And get underneath here. You can use the trim tool as well. And slide up. Do the same with the other three. Take the 
those out. And then just slide this cover off and out of the way. Take these bolts off the fan shroud, use an eight millimeter socket. Grab the fan shroud, just lift up. Just try to separate it from the radiator. And it's just gonna hang out there, that's fine. Take these brackets off, use a 10 millimeter socket, take these two bolts out. Do the same on this one. And grab the radiator. And just slide it up. Oop, be careful. And slide it up. And take the radiator and carefully slide it in position. And at the base of the radiator where the two feet are that go into the rubber grommets, make sure those rubber grommets were there. If not, they might be on the bottom of the other radiator. If you are replacing the radiator. Pull the fan shroud out of the way. that's in place, you can take that fan shroud, line the feet up, they go in the bottom of the radiator, slide those in position. Push this hose back in position, and this one can go on this clamp. And put the bolts in that go to the fan shroud. Tighten those down. All the upper radiator support. And tighten these down. Put this cover in place. like a shield on the back, you have to pull that up a little bit. Put the push pins back in place. And install the hose that goes to the reservoir. And line the clamp up. And snug it down. That's good. Take the upper radiator hose, line that up. clamp on and tighten that down. 
Now slide this snorkel on. Get that lined up how it was. And you can tighten that clamp down. And connect this connector. And slide it in position. Slide the hose on. And line this up, lock it in place, put the bolt in, and tighten them down. And tighten down this worm clamp. Make sure it's snug. Now take the cooler line. And slide that in position. Slide the clamp over and snug that down. Good. Do the same on the other one. Now put the lower radiator hose on. And slide the clamp in position and tighten it down. And hook this clamp up, lock it in place. Then if you had a clean pan with the transmission fluid and you want to reuse the fluid just dump that back in if not get a little bit of fluid about the same amount and top it off right here is where your transmission fluid is going to go pull the dipstick out you want to check that while the vehicle is running check the level use the appropriate coolant for the vehicle make sure you use a 50 50 mix Once you fill this up to the full line, you want to start the vehicle and monitor the level. Make sure you turn the heat on and the blower just on medium speed. Constantly check to make sure the vehicle is not overheating. And then after about 10 minutes, you want to shut the vehicle off, let it cool down, double check your fluid level and put the cap on and you should be good to go.